Hey guys, Kevin here with your KevCam tip of the day today. So today what I want to show you guys is the variable, variable depth option that we have inside of Pocket, Profile, uh, iMachining, all that good stuff. So we'll just do a simple Pocket operation right, right now. Now, all these pockets are at different levels. Um, so normally what I would have to do is create an operation for each one of these, but now we can do these all right inside of solid cam inside one operation using the variable depth. So if we go to our levels, you'll see that we have a constant and we have a variable. So we'll click on the variable and now I can assign my chains to each depth. So all I have to do is just put the cursor or uh, get that field highlighted and just click and it will uh, tell me the depth and also uh, keep the associativity to that depth as well. So you'll see we have our depth set up there. You can do the same for your upper level as well. And it might show up on your guys as red. It may show up as green. Long as there's color in there, that means it's physically linked itself to the model as well as picked up your depth. So now we're going to be able to do that. Uh, just grab a tool real quick. And now that we have our tool in there, uh, you can see, let me just kind of pull this over here, we'll shrink this up, and you can see our tool path has changed uh, per each level. And the step downs will uh, go accordingly as uh, you guys specify. So this depth over here is only 125 thou deep. We got a quarter inch deep, half inch deep, and three quarter inch deep. So it automatically adapts for that. So it should save you guys a little bit of time. So I just want to share that with uh, with you guys for your the tip of the day today. Thanks, guys. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.